Hello Video Diary. It's late, quiet. A rarity. I was thinking um, what appeared on the surface to be a, an obvious thought that uh, Forrest shouldn't have died just when I was uh, looking at a photograph. And uh, if that's the case, then some of the, the reasoning behind how and why he died can be can be sought can be found um, you know things like uh, the drug impairing your your judgment um, access to it access to support networks that help you stay addicted um, but you have some 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 power you know uh, as an individual to analyze what's happening to you. The people I talked to who got off it kind of did that. Just They just analyzed it, you know, across a metric of their feelings versus uh, what, what they were um, getting from it, you know, the return on investment. But uh, it's um, the addiction part, you know. Maybe that kind of fits into the areas of things that you can't control. And so there's a combination If force shouldn't have died, then he could have done some things differently that might mean he'd still be alive. He made a decision somewhere in there to... Uh, to really find heroin and um, that 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 was you know right at the spark hitting the gunpowder And maybe there is a fuse lit, you know, stupid analogies, but it could be like it's always like a fuse that you're stamping on and goes away for a minute, comes back.
But if he shouldn't have died, it just means that there's no plan. You know, there's no grand plan, there's no master plan, there's no, you know, you know what I'm saying. And, and that being the case, uh, things that you do, that I do, that we do, are going to have uh, consequences, and some of them will accumulate and become, can become a very bad thing. You know, Forrest didn't just take heroin once, he was using it for some months and um, struggling with it, you know, showing his girlfriend, look, I'm throwing this out, uh, you know. I didn't. I wish I'd known right then this was going on, but uh, I'm here now, telling you that he was struggling to not do it, and still did it. Instead of e evaluating the situation and getting some help, reaching out, he didn't do that. He said he was killed by like, uh, he killed himself with four grains of fentanyl. Uh, whatever. Um, those course of actions is what killed him. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, we may not have control over very much, but whatever we can control, we should. Or, or we, we do, don't do so at our own peril. You know, if you don't provide for yourself, Who will?